Hello everyone and welcome to another... Uh, you just had to ruin my intro, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of the Twatcast Podcast. Today I am here with my lovely co-host, uh, Day. Hello. And Viper. Ah! Hi. Okay. Um, so <laughs> it's currently for me and Viper at least one in the morning. And we decided... To yeah, and we decided, you know what, let's film an episode of the podcast, because why not? We're fucking idiots. Pretty much. Fuck you. I mean, we are. Yeah, we like, are, but fuck you. <laughs> I mean, that's just fact. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, uh, we don't really have a topic, apart from, like, memes, I guess. Like, okay, okay, here's, here's an interesting point. What was your guys' favourite meme of, like, the last decade? Decade, fuck. Uh, so 2010 to 2020. What's been your favourite meme? I don't think I have a favourite meme. I don't honestly think I have one either. I don't, oh, think, I don't think I have a favourite meme, but I like a few. <laughs> yeah, like, just... okay, what are a few of your, like, the memes you like? Uh, well, fucking, uh, that boy. <laughs> just because uh, of the song. That, yeah, like, the, the frog on the unicycle. Come that boy, shit, oh shit, word up. Yeah, I like that as well, that's good. Probably, oh, nah. like, we'll be right back or fucking to be continued. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like the deja vu and the gas memes. Oh, yeah, just, definitely. I like the, yeah, I like that meme and then also the gas, gas, gas meme. That's pretty good. Gas, gas, gas. Yeah, thank, yeah, thank you for illustrating. Kind of gas at first. <laughs> just Nazi memes. Yeah. I mean, I mean, like, <laughs> I do, I do quite enjoy a good, a good Nazi meme here and there, if they're done well. If they're done well, if yeah. It's just like, like, if it's just Nazis for the sake of Nazis, then nah, you're not doing it right. Oh, oh, I know one that I fucking love that is just really fucking stupid. That um that life hack uh that life hack bullshit where it's like the uh the woman uh with the spoon like the back end yeah spoon trying to eat cereal, and then, so so I so like Sorry. she tries to she she okay so she tries to like um pick up uh like I guess like pick up cereal with the spoon uh with the back of the spoon right. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It's on YouTube, right? Bro, she keeps trying to pick it up, right? And okay. then she's bad. So what she decides to do is grab, is put it down on the table, grab a hammer, and like hit the back end of it, <laughs> just to curve so she it. can pick, pick it up. Yeah, just oh so she can God. actually pick it up. I'm like, I'm sitting there, like, where is hmm. Rang with her? Yeah, so you can like... easily just flip it over. It's not like <laughs> brain cells. You know, I I quite like the. If we're talking about like stupid memes, I like the. Um, this is it. I don't. Uh, okay, I don't know the the. Uh, <laughs> I don't know the actor, or like the celebrity, but um, the one where it's. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just I'm just watching that. Oh my that god, is that is it's genius. Really stupid. Right, I, the one that I like a really dumb meme is the. Uh, I don't know who the guy is, but the guy screaming over the mountains. You know, just a. <sighs> Oh yeah, no, oh, it's a song. Yeah, what's his name? I can't remember. I don't know. He, I don't I know. Call him R Man. Yeah, the R Man. Like he's in the like he's in the sky, basically, like a big thing in the sky, and he's just screaming over the picture of the mountains. <laughs> I also quite like Bob Ross memes. Those are pretty good. So, what is a meme you hate? Ooh, Ugandan knuckles. It got overused. Well, yes, I hate. Okay, well, see, here's here's the thing. I originally liked <laughs> it, and then it got overused to hell, and now I don't. It's been I mean, ruined. See, I was, like, for a while, a part of that, because I, yeah, I was there when VR it started. Chat. I, yeah, I was there when it started, I was there when it died. Nice. Because, oh, I, because like, well. I was playing, I was playing, like, a lot of VR chat then. Yeah. That was when, like, I got my VR. Yeah. So, like, so I was, yeah, and it so, all kind of took off. Yeah. It took off, so it's mad, I'm like, though. yeah. I mean, some people still do it. Yeah, like, I know. It's, it's not fully dead, but it's yeah, but it's like it's, it's died. Yeah, pretty I mean, much. most people usually do it still because of a joke. Yeah, really. I mean, yeah. like also, uh, I can't, I can't think of a lot of memes that I hate because I like a lot of them, and then they kind of die off and just go away. But I don't hate them. Like if I seen it again, I'd be like, oh, I remember that. Yeah, you know, like what I don't. I hate. I just hate Uganda Knuckles because it got so overused. 
or not hate, but really dislike is mm -hmm. Namakasita or whatever it's called. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, that, that, that as well. Reading. Yeah. Uh, what about the, like, Chrome Alien? The Chrome yeah, Alien. I hate that. Like, like, no offense to the creators. I, I actually really like the Chrome Alien one. It's just because of the song. Like, the I song that comes with it. I don't remember that one. I don't it's, remember it's, that. Like, the creators, but I don't like the meme. Hmm. How about? I guess let's shift. I guess. Well, I guess we could shift into, like, sort of a uh, different game. Uh, I thought I thought of a topic we could talk about is kind of like the how we're basically merging all of our kind of YouTube channels, kind of. All oh, right. Uh, well, like that's something to, that could be something to talk yeah, about. I mean, I guess I'm merging with you. Yeah, because... you're yeah you're merging with me, and I, yeah, I brought I'm... I've got day on with this as well, partially. Yeah, I'm mer like oh the reason why I'm merging with you is because like um whenever I post something on my channel, I don't think it's like I don't think it's good enough, and I'll end up either it or making it private yeah it's the same with like my first video back in like 2011 i think okay i think i can't remember mm -hmm. but like it was when it was like it was when i was young but like not that young yeah uh but like uh i was doing it with a bunch of friends and mm -hmm. we were playing uh, we were playing minecraft and we were playing uh. uh, like we were playing uh i think we were playing on God, I Hive. Oh yeah, like, the Hive server, yeah. The Hive, yeah. We're playing the jukebox one where you had to like you listen to a song, you had to get on the certain blocks. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I did that, and then I was like, nah, that's not good enough. Then yeah, I'm pretty sure there's one still up on my channel that I might still need to like either take down or something. But it's like when I was still using my VR, um, my VR headset as a mic, and it was like on yeah. The, on a SCPRP server that I played on. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. That is still up. It's like the one video uh, on your channel. I have my reason because yeah. if people somehow know my channel, well, why I mean, I guess within like our little community, like they probably would know your channel. Yeah, but by God, why? Um, <laughs> because if you know my channel, I only upload very short stuff that doesn't really need a lot of editing. Yeah. So on Ross, I can probably upload a tad longer. Yeah, because obviously yeah. I can, and also I could add like a kind of more polish to it, I guess. Not yeah, it's it's like my SE series. Yeah, I basically just add the polish to it. Like you, you actually make the video and everything. Like you just send me the footage. Um, yeah. But don't be expecting many videos. From my perspective, oh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I usually don't record. Yeah, the main the main people that will be uploading is me, obviously, because it's it's my bloody channel. I've worked, you know, I work hard for it. Yeah, things like that, and I've put this much effort in. I might as well keep going, and also I just love doing it. Yeah. Um you know, but and also, me. yeah, it's interesting to see your perspective on things because, like, um, oftentimes Sometimes it's different. Yeah, and also you play different games to me, so you could draw in like a different audience, like a different crowd yeah. and things like that, which could expand it further. So you get people that are here for like, say, my side of the content, which is more it's, like funny moments, like let's plays, things like that. Whereas yours could be like kind of lesser known games. I I tend to play more AAA. Well, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like, like um, it's kind of like the uh uh like I I I think they're a group. Uh, it's like uh where Eight Bit Ryan comes from. Uh, I don't like, know him. It, all right, well, like he's, I think he does like a what he mostly does, I guess, is like stuff. Okay. I think, or he just does like uh, small games that yeah uh, people don't know about, or like sort of big horror titles, I guess. Like mm -hmm. that's what that's what I see him mostly doing, but yeah, like yeah, but I'm pretty sure there's like other people within the uh, like Eight Bit Ryan sort of group that he plays yeah. with. Because mm -hmm. that's how it originally started. I mean, we all just played games, and yeah, I was the one that was game. recording, editing, whatever. The P game is pretty known, so. Hmm. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I I feel like SCP is kind of like a niche. Like it's got it's got a very kind of, it's got a target audience. Yeah, and it, I knows, mean, like, and it knows what that audience is. Most likely. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like because it's so lore 
rich from what I can tell. It seems quite lore rich. Like there's quite a lot yeah. to it. Oh like, yeah, there's, there's a, yeah, like there's a lot of meat on the bones. So like there's, you need okay. to be into that kind of stuff to to do it. I'm not yeah. into like delving deep into the lore and things like that. I would rather have like a I mean, I just, not necessarily I just got, a story set out in front of me, but like you know. Yeah, I just got into SCP because of like uh, how interesting they are. Yeah, I got into SCP because someone forced me into it, basically. See, personally, I don't find them all that interesting. But then I never got into the whole like kind of creepy pasta type scenes and things like that. I never got into those kind of fandoms. Yeah. So I because I don't find them all that interesting because there's obviously so much. And then also for me coming in now, like I feel that there's so much I'd have to catch up on to be up to speed with everyone, that like I, mean, I, I can't be arsed with it. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, see, that's the thing with um, that's the thing with SCP. You don't need to know that much. You don't need to know that much stuff. Like no you one just um, jump into an article. Yeah. Exactly. Like right now there is uh, there's uh, five thousand or something. Yeah, five thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Uh, like SCPs, and mm -hmm. no one, most of these, most of these SCP entries are access denied because people, uh, because like they haven't been made yet. Yeah, like uh, they're uh, like they're expecting them to go up to that amount, but it's like yeah, they're not uh, they're not there to be fully, you know, they're not, or they're there for people to put in their ideas and yeah. whatever ideas is better. It gets yeah. put in. I guess it's that's just like, like my personal preference to things. Yeah, like all, just all the way you that need I work. to do really, all Speaking... you need to like do it to like get into it or to like I guess strike up kind of a conversation with someone that knows about it. Just start, uh, just like um, look look for like uh, look for I guess the SCPs that are like more known. So like in probably one or possibly series two. Mm -hmm. And like, just go from there. Yeah. Okay. Then what are you gonna say? Is that I know Ross here isn't really a big part of SAP, but <laughs> yeah, like, I, I know nothing SAP, about it. Wikipedia is currently under. Is this still under the threat of that Russian dude? Uh, no, actually, they're um, luckily, uh, luckily the person, uh, the, uh, the. Like dev team from uh, or like the owner of the uh, SCP logo, or the the owner of the SCP uh, logo, or the artist of it, and the original creator of um of one uh, one seven three along with uh, along with like I guess administrators of this of the SCP Foundation site or wiki. They are actually like they're gonna be pulled up in the court case, uh, mm. if if the guy if the Russian guy uh, continues with it, because yeah. like um, SCP uh, the SCP or the SCP uh, the SCP like uh, genre itself in Russia is uh, like is being threatened by a Russian guy uh, trying to uh, copyright claim it. Oh right, got it. Even though, like, it's a, it's a free yeah, even thing. It's like, yeah. Anyone, anyone can use it. Like, yeah, you it's... can't copyright something like that where it's like open to the public to submit. Yeah, like you can't copyright he... something like that. Well, like this guy, this guy, like, do it, and he's getting a leak. Jesus Christ! Let's put an SCP camera up. How many times we've said SCP? <laughs> I'm not doing that. But like. No. uh... I guess to kind of tie it all back round to the channel and things like that. It's just, it's kind of refreshing for me to edit different stuff because I'm used to editing and hearing my own voice. But it was interesting, like for court for like editing your stuff, Viper, and um, and not hearing my own voice. Yeah, like at all, it was interesting. Yeah, Possibly like those are the first time you'll see it then. Sorry, because. Because you're editing it, it's the first time you'll ever see it. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. I think for both of them, I did a watch through um, of both of them before I edited them. And then I took them into editing and that gives me a chance to kind of think, okay, what bits in particular stood out to me? Like, what bits do I want to watch out for? Uh, and what jokes can I make out of them? 
like, yeah, like um, uh, when you were talking about your audio. You know, yeah, I put like a little well. caption with my color, and audio is good. Oh, uh, especially also especially, joke. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, run from the black. I don't think I added that in. No, no, you didn't. Like, no, that's what I I'm didn't. talking about. Yeah, that's I didn't. I didn't add about. that like, in. You, yeah, you took that out because you know. <laughs> yeah, I think it was mainly. Um, I don't think it was because of any particular reason. I think it was the footage, at that point, wasn't particularly. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, it wasn't particularly funny or interesting, so I thought, well, I'm not going to add that in. Yeah. You know, like, why add in just... Well, I've added in a few moments before, but, like, if there's nothing that comes from that, I didn't see a point in adding it in. Yeah, no, you're fine. You know... Why did we all start YouTube? Sorry? Why did we all decide to start YouTube? That's a good question. That is a good question. Um... Oh. Okay, uh... So I guess I'll leave my story to last. So we'll go from, like, left to right. I guess. So Viper, you can, you can start us off. Well, okay. Well, I wanted to. I wanted to get into YouTube just because of. I don't. I don't really know. I just wanted to. You know. I guess do something other than, like, just play. Uh, play games without. Uh, without like. Uh, I guess. Yeah, without. Yeah, it's without like, a purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Because like. Like there is a purpose, it's to uh, or yeah, like purpose, have fun, uh, enjoy like, yourself. Have fun. But it's like sometimes there's funny, uh, there's like uh, really funny stuff. Yeah, that you wish you and... could go back and look at later. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, the, like we have nothing to like uh, go back on. That's why. Yeah. Uh, that's why I I got metal, and that's why mm. like you. Uh, that's why you record because yeah. you know it's it's interesting and also it's uh, like it's a good moment. Yeah. So if that wraps up your story, we'll we'll go today next. Why'd you well, start? Much like Viper, um, the difference is kind of uh, I have kind of really bad memory keeping things in my memory, so uh, I started recording those kind mm-hmm. of for myself. Yeah. But then I decided like, there's a lot of funny things in here. Mm-hmm. I can cut them out. I can like show them to my friends. Mm-hmm. So I decided to do that, and that's basically how I got here. Nice. Uh, so now I guess it's like the reason why I started. Um, I I used to, when I was a kid, I would like, I would play with like uh, action figures and things like that, like Star Wars ones, and yeah. I would kind of either reenact moments from the show with them because I was watching the Clone Wars at the time. Um, or I would make my own up based on what I'd seen. So I'd make up a similar scenario, but with slight differences. Um, and then, so so that sparked the kind of imagination, you know, like storytelling, things like that, which later came into play, especially now uh, that I'm doing a college course around it. Yeah, that's, like, uh, sorry, like, cut me off, but for, uh, like, I... Uh, I used to like. I I did used to play with uh like play with like Legos and just like in yeah. general like figures, but like I would always either or you know tend to have like uh, pretend to have guns or play with toy guns. Yeah, just yeah, same. I did that I, as well. Yeah, uh, because I uh, love like creating. Something. I love uh, like. Mm-hmm. I I just in general love to uh like I guess play another character that's how i got into my whole like um like sort of role playing aspect yeah. like I, I love like if if the point in time uh come or like if there's a moment where the sort of role play is like uh seems like fantastic to me i'll do it like without question yeah like that's also a whole reason why i want to cosplay because that's just a big role play pretty much yeah like it's a big role play and also you get to interact uh you with other people yeah yeah you get to interact with other people uh people might want to take pictures uh like take pictures of you yeah. uh, on like how good your uh, costume is or whatever mm-hmm. and to me i like even though i'm like socially awkward uh i would still want that because i'd be wearing a mask 
yeah that's my that's the kind of my whole love for masks uh came mm-hmm. from i like it's uh just because it like it helps me do things that i wouldn't normally do without uh like awkward yeah or like having a panic attack i guess that's fair yeah so mm-hmm. like basically what i would do is like i would do all that and i would make up these stories in my head but what i would also do is i would create in my head like rules of what can and like what is and is not possible within this little fantasy world of mine do you know what i mean so i'd say for example like um i'm trying to think of an example uh like this character that's on this particular team could never switch to the other side because they're just a vital part of that team you know what i mean yeah. I'd, I'd create these little rules and things like that and it would be like a full world that i would create it wouldn't just be this scenario i would think of stuff outside of it as well yeah. um and then kind of what came from that is uh my love for storytelling and then also like i said uh, i used to do that thing with guns as well that i'd you know i'd run around pretending to be someone else basically um and that's also where my love of acting comes in you know and that's why i take drama and things like that because it allows me to slip into other characters and i guess it also helps me with my anxiety a bit because i don't have to be me i'm yeah. someone you know i'm someone else i'm not socially awkward i'm not anxious about things i'm confident as all hell and smooth you know like that kind of it's kind of like i guess slipping into an our persona yeah and that helps me because even on youtube i get into a persona of um i see myself as kind of like the the middleman yeah. like i'm not always uh it's kind of like I'm a gateway for the viewers to feel like they're in the scenarios that we're in. Yeah. You know I mean, but obviously I put my own input as well. Yeah. Um, and oftentimes with face cam videos, that's very like, I don't, I enjoy them, but I also don't. I use them uh, for particular videos. So for like, for example, funny moments, I don't use a face cam because it just, it ruins the whole funny moment. Kind of the look of the video. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it ruins the feel and look and thing of the video because you can see how I'm reacting rather than just hearing it. Um, yeah. But then, for example, with like uh, streaming, I use a face cam because it's way more casual. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if they see my face. You know, things like that. Um, but then to bring it back to like why I started, I I used to watch way too much. I still watch way too much YouTube. Uh, <laughs> you know, than what's probably healthy. I mean, we we don't really have a choice anymore. Yeah, I mean, at this point, we don't have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> um. But what I, what I did, or what I what I did is I I looked at so many different types of videos, you know, and I always thought to myself like, how could I do that? Like, how could I do it? You know, like, what would I do if I did that style of video, for example? Like, if I did, I used to watch Fred. Like, if I did that. What could I have made? Like, what character could I create? Oh. Things like that. Right, man. Yeah, I remember Fred. <laughs> remember what? when he was, like, the most subscribed guy on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For a few times the end him on Nickelodeon, I think. Yeah, then he moved to Nickelodeon because he got massive. Yeah. Um, I didn't realize this until watching an actual YouTube video on him. Like, mm-hmm. and, like his one of his actual YouTube videos. He's, yeah. like... Uh, He's actually gay. Oh yeah, so he is. I forgot. Yeah, the I, actual I, yeah, I the guy behind it is. Yeah. Is gay. yeah, I didn't know that until watching, uh, like. Yeah, yeah one of his actual videos. videos. Nice. Hang on, that's weird. <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm just saying, that's weird because like yeah. I can never imagine like, Fred of, being gay, or like, or <laughs> imagine I like, I don't want to be like uh fucking, I don't want to uh like, like sort of stereotype, but like he is. He acts like I guess, or he acts and sounds like I guess, like uh, the stereotypical gay. Yeah, and like I wouldn't expect, I uh, wouldn't expect uh, like someone that acts talks like a stereotypical gay to act like that and like yeah. to be like that. That's that's like all I'm saying. Yeah, 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 I get what you mean. I bet you'll still have some sort of butthurt comment on this video, <laughs> right? Someone. But yeah, probably. But uh, <laughs> some random feminist. He, he, he hates gays. He hates well, the gays. 
how can I hate them if I am one? Exactly. I just hate myself. <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> but like, okay, to can I bring it back around? So I I first started off with I started off with a lot of things. Um, I used to do so many different styles of content. Uh, I did stop motion. I did vlogging. I did gaming videos. I did a, I did a I did a wide variety of things. Um, you know, and that went for a few years. I was kind of, you know, dipping in and out of different styles of content. Uh, and I kind of... I didn't really know where I was going with it. Until... It was actually you, Viper. You, until you showed me Soviet Womble Quebec Stream. Specifically that video, Quebec Stream. Um, I didn't know what I was doing. But after watching that, I thought... That that is the kind of video that I want to make. I want to do that. So so your inspiration was kind of like me and that video. Yeah, you showing me that video um, right. inspired me to push doing the content that I am now, and I'm very happy with where I'm at now. Um, so I, so after that, I did what was the first one? Forza Motorsport Seven. That was the first one. Uh, and that one was kind of a test, I guess we'll say. You know, dip my toe in. Yeah. Uh, and then slowly over time, I, built, I moved slowly from console to PC gaming. Uh, yeah. You know, and then you introduced me to example for like, to into, you, uh, <laughs> you introduced me to today, to Alan, you know, and then I had like a small group of friends that I could play online with because I didn't have anyone on the PC and that's why I didn't play it originally. All my friends were on console. Um, but I've sort of slowly phased out console gaming to more, P- into, more yeah. into PC gaming. One, because I I now prefer PC gaming, and a lot of the games I played on console, I can't play on there anymore, because it's just, I just literally it's can't. Awkward. Yeah, it's weird. Like, if, using the controller is just weird to me, apart from Grand Theft Auto. That's the only game I refuse to do mouse and keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's just me. Um... So that I, you know, and I built up, I did the PUBG video um, with Day and Alan, and, and that was like, that was the most, considering it was the shortest of the funny moments up to that point, it took the most amount of work. Yeah, cause like, because you, I heavily you, edited that one. Like, weren't you like, still sort of new to it? As yeah, well? I was new to that style of content, yeah. That was only like a, maybe like a month or two in to doing yeah, that so kind of video. Like, you didn't, uh, you didn't know like how far it would be to like edit it, or how far uh, you need to go to edit it. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd edit it exact. Like I'd put in subtitles and things like that, and I'd put in pictures over it. But I was fairly lazy with what I cut out. Like I was very lazy with it. Like it wasn't even funny moments. Some of them are like twenty minutes of uncut raw footage. You know what I mean? Yeah. And now I look yeah. back at them, I'm like, that's not funny moments. That's a video. That's, that's just a let's yeah. play. That's just me playing yeah. Fortnite, right? Because yeah. that was yeah, I did six videos on that, <laughs> right? Yeah, I, I... <laughs> we should we should probably shift the topic into like uh, gaming, like just games. well, we can do that like after I kind of finish. Yeah. Yeah, my rambling. Um. So where was it? Yeah. So I I I put the most amount of effort into that video. Up to that point, and then slowly my setup improved, and I got to where I am now. You know yeah. where my editing uh, and recording is of a decent quality. It's 1080p 60 rather than whatever the hell it was like back then. Yeah. You know. Um, you know, and now I'm I'm very happy with the kind of content I'm doing. I'd like to branch out a bit and do more live action stuff, but obviously that's a bit on hold right now due yeah. to the whole situation. Yeah, due to the whole uh, situation. Also, you know, if kind we of do... in a lockdown. Yeah, you know, the country's in lockdown. You know, bit of a problem. Uh... Yeah, but, also, <laughs> uh, but I'm pretty sure also in general, like, uh, like you, you'll need to get like uh, equipment if we're planning. I on... mean, yeah, if I have. On doing... Yeah, I have the camera. Um, I'd need to find a way of getting like a better microphone. Yeah. For the camera, 
um, things like that. I mean, no one expects a perfect microphone. No, like, I'm not saying it has to be perfect. I'm just saying for like for recording outside. You know that yeah. kind of that kind of stuff. So the so the wind like yeah. That so that's yeah, because that'd be annoying to me if you couldn't hear the dialogue because of wind. Yeah, but also like we'll probably need to do it like at a good uh, at a good day because you know here. Is yeah, it, it's, it can be really crap. Yeah, yeah. Or like it just in general, our natural weather is rainy. Yeah, pretty much. And then also the other problem with that is trying to get people for it. I know a few more yeah. people now that would probably be willing to do it. Yeah, obviously me. Like, yeah. I'm, I'll be down, like, in. Yeah, and I've got a few of my people that I've met through drama who'd probably be down for a film. You know, yeah, like, even yeah, just a short film. Two reasons. Yeah, short film. Yeah, I mean, you're in a different country to us. Yeah, but um, I said two reasons. Oh, yeah, yeah face. I'm very self-conscious. Yeah. Yeah, there's that as well. Um... But yeah, I guess we can now shift the topic because we started talking about games. Let's shift into yeah. into games. Games, yeah. Games, I mean, games, me and Day, yeah. me and Day in the first episode, we covered modern the new Modern Warfare quite heavily. So let's not dip back into that. Yeah, no. And let's yeah, go no. into um, other games that we've. How about that we've what games would you are you expecting for? Like, there's games coming out. Which kind of game do you want most? I don't actually keep up with uh, upcoming games. If you could uh, make up a game. Oh, if I could come up with one. Ooh. Uh. Well, like, like me, probably, probably something to do with like, probably something to do with SE. Yeah. Fucking I guess Half Life Three. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Okay. I guess we will make Half Life Three. I guess <laughs> sort of like a task force or maybe a group of interest type uh, SCP game. Yeah. Like instead of because like. Containment Breach and Secret Lab, they're they're both uh, they're both good games. Mm-hmm. Right? I will admit they're both okay. fantastic games. Um, it's just Containment Breach. You're playing as a D class that are that is trying to escape the facility. Right. While Secret Lab is you're either a D class doing the same thing or a scientist doing the same as uh, Class C, just on a different team. I would like more yeah. kind of like a mission base kind of yeah that's mm-hmm. yeah that's like what i uh that's like what i'm talking about like the whole uh like instead of just uh escape you've actually got yeah you actually like, need to complete mission. an objective yeah you've got missions to do uh, as yeah. like this group of interest or anything you get to mm-hmm. pick like a certain group of interest you want to play as yeah or task force and mm-hmm. depending on the mobile task force it's it's linked to a different mission yeah I guess I'd like to do... I'm not sure what kind of game that I'd make, to be honest. If I can just cut in real quick, actually. Yeah, sure, it gives me Speaking time to think. Speaking of SCP and Mobile Task Force, uh, a YouTuber, Evan Royalty, who makes great cinematics. Oh, uh, Evan Royalty's f- amazing. Yeah. He's, he has... Um, his overlord got postponed. Yeah, because, you know... That will like yeah coronavirus and also, uh like, yeah. It, but it gives him time to like uh, think, and or it gives him and his writers like time to actually uh, like fully complete the story or add a little bit more details. Up. Yeah. Because the thing he mentioned was that usually SCP is always about the how the SCP are contained from a doctor's perspective, but he wants more of an mtf perspective of doing the mission doing the containment yeah because like with dollhouse um dollhouse when um it's it's like uh with dollhouse when they're in the van house that's like the com that's like a conversation with like uh like for example like i guess swap members right they they talk like have a conversation or do like sort of bets or something going to the place and as soon as they get to the place that's when they go serious it's not like that's that's the thing with like uh, military and like uh, uh, police especially like swap people think it's serious the whole way through no people people joke around people like you know they want to show humanity when they're getting there but as soon as they're there they know what uh they know the job they know what to do like they 
no, they have to get the job done, no, like, um, no issues, no... Yeah, uh, no messing around. Things. Yeah, no messing around. But, uh, but when you're going there, you can talk about anything you want, like, and you'll just seem normal. Yeah. I guess kind of coming. The storm. <laughs> I was gonna say, I guess like coming back to what type of game that I'd make, I'd probably yeah. make like a kind of first-person shooter game, similar to Siege, like a tactical one. But what I would do is make it more tuned into like cinematic culture. Because, for example, I would love to make cinematics in Siege, and I've worked out how, because the mechanics of that game and the way that the game's marketed and things like that work really well for cinematics. But it's the pra- it's the fact that Siege itself doesn't support that kind of creator or that kind of content. I so, mean, like... You know, so I'd probably make something similar to Siege, some sort of tactical shooter, but have it more kind of tuned into cinematics and things like that, you know? Yeah, I mean, there's... While still um... having a fun multiplayer. Oh, uh, sp- oh speaking of a game that... I- Say uh, to come out for, uh, ready or not? Yes, ready. Uh, or not. Yeah. I haven't heard it's of it. It's a it's a SWAT it's a like SWAT game where it's oh. it's like SWAT four. Yeah, you know the old uh, the old game, but yeah, like re immersed and it is it actually, it's like it actually uses SWAT tactics, SWAT equipment, stuff like that. Yeah, you know, that actually does sound quite interesting. Uh, like there is a trailer about it, and ooh. like uh, I'll need to check like, that out oh, then. Yeah, and like it is really good. Yeah, but yeah, like I I really enjoy like so I want to play games like that, like mm-hmm. how Siege meant to be yeah. at first, but like was that idea was like scrap. Yeah, like, like in the for alpha. example, I like Siege's trailer. Yeah, in the alpha. Yeah, I like, like C- alpha alpha gameplay. That's. Uh, that was like what siege is meant to be. Now we've got, uh, now we've got like, yeah, this uh, this person has jammers. It's like, okay, but like, okay, uh, we understand it's like character diversity, but it, it's not what you show in your like, because uh, yeah. most of the time alpha game or like uh, alpha game plays and beta, uh, they're like, not even the beta, like alpha uh, the alpha gameplay is like. Uh, the alpha and the beta they're meant to be sort of similar yeah right or like they're supposed to be like somewhat similar in the Mm. alpha it was a tactical shooter that relied on teamwork yeah the beta that's when everything all of that got scrapped and then they introduced the operators yeah it's actually because um you know how called something called downgrading usually normal with ubisoft not anymore i don't think yeah i i seen a video UB where it's like all of ubisoft's downgrades amazing, but then yeah it's the same with watchdogs as well like watchdogs is yeah, basically look... every ubisoft game before recent pretty much yeah like, like i mean i've seen so many i seen a video where it's like it flat out shows all of ubisoft's downgrades so it shows the trailer for Siege, and it shows actual Siege gameplay, and yeah. the t- and the downgrade is insane. Don't get me wrong, Siege is a fun game. I enjoy Rainbow Six. Uh, yeah. You know their kind of latest thing, but I I would love to see a version of it similar to that release trailer. To the alpha. That's where Red well, comes in. Well, yeah, probably. Yeah, but it's it's like. Yeah, like that's where Ready or Not will come in. But mm-hmm. then again, like it would still be interesting to see uh, a siege based, uh, a siege based like yeah gameplay with like uh, with alpha like or alpha gameplay mm-hmm. like available to the uh, available to the public and just so yeah. anyone could yeah. ju- like just switch siege to the alpha just in case they want to play that and mm-hmm. then they can really just swap back. Yeah. I just, I, mean, uh, I just wish that I they would have kept that kind of tactical shooter thing, because now it's it is more tactical than Call of Duty. I'll give them that. Yeah. But not by much. Yeah, there's still I mean? like, like tactics, like, too, yeah. but then again... like Siege is more attuned to what Call of Duty Search and Destroy scene. I feel was like, 
You know, if you look at Kojiro's search that's, and destroy that's, scene, that's, like if you look at the people, bomb, then it's yeah, just bomb. it is literally just bomb. You know what I mean? Like the siege game mode is not dissimilar to to search and destroy in Call of Duty. You have a, and you have an objective in bomb. It's two. You know, but like you only have to plant on one um, to win the round. You know, one like you get killed. That's it for that round. You come back. You know, they're very similar concepts. I feel. Yeah, I mean, like Call of Duty did like Call of Duty did do uh, did do that first, and most games yeah. uh, most games come out they follow that same concept because I guess it's like it's just like I guess a common voice. Not really a rule. It's like yeah. a game is like this, so uh, people instantly assure, uh, instantly go like, "Oh, it's just a, it's just um, a more tactical version of this game." game. Yeah. But it's and no, I don't. Yeah. That's what I, I. That's that's why I don't like some. Is they they compare everything to uh, to their favorite game and mm-hmm. like criticize. Uh, criticize the game on it just because it's got that feature. Mm-hmm. It's like if another game had leaning, son, it's like it's yeah, copied, everyone would it's yeah, copied, everyone would say it's copied Siege. Or like Even if though... it's a tactical shooter with leaning, it's ta- it's it's copying Siege. You no, know, leaning. No, that's is just used. a game mechanic. Yeah, leaning is used in real life. Yeah, like, exactly, because of course you're not just gonna walk out. You're gonna, you're not just gonna in walk into a room without like checking your corner. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's dumb. You know what I mean? Like and I guess that brings on like a kind of bigger video game kind of discussion on how everyone is gonna base say for example a small developer makes a game and yeah. it has similar mechanics to a triple A game, everyone's gonna say it's a rip off of said triple A game. Yeah, now, or I'm not knockoff. Yeah. I'm not exactly like I'm not acting all high and mighty like I've never done it. Of course I have. Like, by the time by the time by the time this comes out, the video will be up. A video on Iron Sight. I literally put like in the title a good Call of Duty clone, right? Yeah. And the re- but the reason that I did that is because mechanically and sort of presentation wise, it is very similar to Call of Duty. You know the way that it presents itself and the way that the the HUD works, the general features of the game. It's very similar to COD. Yeah, I like, I wasn't made, I didn't make any direct comparisons mainly because COD is such a massive series with so many different games that cover so many different ways that you could do it. But it was very similar to older COD games, I'll say. Yeah, I like I will admit I did like um I did like sort of uh do the whole like uh pinning thing on uh like uh on like Fortnite with uh because like PUBG was like uh i was playing PUBG a lot and yeah. it was like a big it started to get a big uh to become a big game yeah and then Fortnite that was meant to be uh that was meant to be just you know the yeah just the game. yeah just the pve mode yeah just the pve mode and uh, then i added it, battle royale you know, and swept the market the market yeah yeah that's when i was like oh like as soon as PUBG came out, that's when it was like that. I didn't even like take in a. I uh, didn't realize that, uh, like H one Z one was like yeah I the guess, original. I guess the, or, the, not necessarily really the, original, the original, but the first big Mine, battle royale. Minecraft, Minecraft Hunger Games was the original. <laughs> Minecraft Hunger <laughs> Games was the first like sort of battle yeah, royale. Yeah, but I guess you could say like in the battle royale genre as we know it now, H one Z one was one of the first. Yeah, like, there was probably a bunch of small it. games, but that was the kind of first one that kind of took off a bit. Yeah, and then that led into PUBG being created, which garnered a bigger following. And then Fortnite came out, and that just took everything out. And then it, it one was one game, and then yeah. one game that fucking towered Fortnite because on launch it was um it was an amazing game. There was no bugs, and it was also it was also made by a company that had made t- already uh, that had already made two. Existing games that were really fucking good. Okay. Apex Legends. Apex Legends. Well, it was made by Re- it was made by Respawn yeah, who did who did Titanfall. Who did Titanfall one and two? Yeah. Titanfall two and Apex are linked with each other. Mm-hmm. And so you were also, saying that like um, <clears throat> Apex is a 
like you just said there, Apex is a better game. Uh, it has it's made like, by a shooter who makes better games. I think that's more subjective. Well, like, well, like they okay, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't say. I don't think I said like they make better games. I just said like they made good games. Yeah, like, I thought again. I still think that's somewhat subjective on like what do you want from the game? Because I yeah. looked, I looked at Titanfall when it was coming out, and I thought, nah, that's, that's not really for me. You know, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't personally classify it as, oh, that's a good game. But then again, I haven't played it, so I can't make that judgment. Yeah. Meanwhile, like, with Apex, I, I don't find Apex that interesting either. Yeah. I, I first I first looked at Apex and I was like, oh, it's made by a Respawn, so it must be like some uh, similar to Titanfall. I saw the jetpacks and I was like, oh, okay, Titanfall, but Battle Royale. Yeah. But then as soon as I played it, I realized this is not Titanfall at all. Yeah. This is not this is this is a new ip linked. it's yeah. linked to titanfall but it's nowhere close to titanfall yeah uh but like it's uh but like i'm being serious on launch there was nothing wrong with apex hmm. like no one found any bugs with apex no one found any issues with apex that's a bloody rarity nowadays i know like so many games ship with like constant bugs and things like like that the cod the cod series being a good example yeah, and also PUBG, but like, yeah, but what's good? The reason why I stay, uh, I still play Apex Legends, even though I don't like battle royale games, is it doesn't feel like a battle royale. Like, yeah, it's it's got you know it's got the whole like uh, free squad. Yeah, it's got the elements of battle royale. It's got the elements, but it doesn't feel royale. like it. Exactly, like as in there's um like. With with game with like other games, it's like this gun's better than this one because of the rarity. That's yeah. not that's not with uh like that's not with um Apex. It's like the the gun is good if you're good with it. It's mm-hmm. more skill than weapon based. So like um so like for example, so, uh a new player with like uh an LMG uh, with like a golden LMG. And like a, a high skilled player with like just a, a pistol that has light rounds, right? Yeah. Can easily take down that new person because yeah, of the because skill. Because it's all down to skill. Like even if that even if the new player got hit a bunch of times, he can still do it. And especially cause legend, like yeah. different legends have their ability, and also like, and they have their own sort of aspect to them so one of the one of the characters uh like uh gibraltar uh-huh. he like he's he's defensive as in like when he aims down he has an arm shield yeah. it doesn't matter what weapon you got he'll deploy his arm shield mm-hmm. to like protect you uh so it, it like protects his own face uh-huh. and it he's the polar opposite to someone named uh to another legend brave whose ability is to like uh, get like go through uh, like to phase through sort of uh, different dimensions right mm. and what's interesting and how respawn did this i have no idea um whenever ray whenever a person that's playing ray is being aimed at whenever there's any, so, uh, any nearby if there's like a grenade Gonna, uh, that's getting thrown at, uh, at them. Mm-hmm. There's a, there's like a voice that only they hear that tells them, uh, "Watch out, you're being aimed at," or someone near. Hmm. I guess and, that that is quite an interesting mechanic. Yeah, and with another character, my favorite, uh, my second favorite, uh, Bloodhound. They've got, um, they've got passive ability. Uh, they've, their passive ability is if someone's opened a door recently. They can see like uh, how long ago that door's open. Mm-hmm. So, like it will say age, like fifteen seconds or something. Yeah, and that tells you that someone's nearby. Yeah, their main oh, ability. They're long gone. Yeah, their main ability is ba- is that they can scan the area and see a person through walls. Ah. And their uh, their ult- uh, their ultimate ability is that they're I'm pretty sure they're faster, prints, and also they can. Uh, like they have thermal vision. Okay. Is like inter is interesting. Yeah. And like, but their vision is like grayscale. Mm-hmm. 
so it is like kind of a it is kind of a disadvantage because people some people can't play with grayscale uh-huh. but like it's still a good still like an interesting interesting concept with yeah uh with like games like that because especially with like uh with a character cost he he can't get affected by his own gas traps right uh-huh. obviously and he can see through his own gas traps obviously uh-huh. right that, and the interesting part, if an enemy caustic down gas trap don't get affected by the gas, that person's gas. Hmm. So, like, that that's what I like about it as well. Even though there's even though they're the same legend, the uh, their passive ability or ability is you know being active can yeah. also go against. Uh, yeah, it can go against him. Yeah, yeah, it can like go against another enemy that legend. Mm-hmm. Maybe I should just leave because. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, uh, I get probably not because I, get... I like Apex. Yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a good game. Hmm. I I played a bit of it. It's it's not for me. I'll say it's that. Not for me either. I haven't played it, but it's not for me, John. Yeah, I, I did. I did play it uh, for a bit. Just not my thing. I don't think battle royale games are really my thing. Because uh, yeah. cause what I what I look for in a game not only is it fun to play for me, but I also automatically think, can I make a video out of this? Like, could I do something with this? You know, is this a game that I enjoy enough to want to record? and edit and things like that um and battle royale games don't tend to work for me for my yeah. for my content so i i do tend to steer away from them remember yeah. when we were talking about the games we would make yeah uh i yeah uh, that basically just led into this discussion <laughs> um fun fact I never got to do mine. Oh, so, but I, I guess, guess I guess we can. I guess we can. <laughs> I guess we can turn that back around now. So what no, can no, I? No, no, it's fine. I just wanted to play <laughs> it out. Are you sure you don't want to say what can no, I give you? No, no, it's fine. I didn't uh, have anything special, anyways. No, I mean like it was gonna be pretty similar to your guys, so it wasn't oh, right. really. Um, I just find it kind of funny. <laughs> we... <laughs> Sorry, I, d- I didn't even notice. No, that's fine. <clears throat> I thought I thought we got through everyone. <laughs> I guess I... that very minuscule kind of person. <laughs> so I I feel bad now. No, I don't. God. <laughs> God's sake. Um, you know, I'm trying to think on more stuff. Um, I recent. What do you guys think about about Valve? kind of what they've done, kind of what they did. Because um, obviously Valve oh. Valve used to make a lot of games, right? Valve has made so many bloody successful series. They made the Team Fortress games. They've made the Counter-Strike series. They Quake. Did, they, yeah, they made Quake. Um, Portal. Yeah, they made the Portal series and the Half-Life oh. series. Um, but now it sort of seems as if Valve is very much steered away from making games and just basically running steam i mean they have now made half-life alex yeah but like if you compare how long it's taken them to release a new game half-life alex now but i mean compared to whatever the last game they made was sorry that i interrupted a bit there no that's fine i mean half-life alex personally Mm -hmm. i think it's a very nice game. It's very nice looking. It's very immersive. It has mm-hmm. a lot of details to it. Yeah. So, while we did have to wait very long for a new game, mm-hmm. it was worth the wait. I do think it was a good game. Like, it's better to wait for a good game than to get a bad game. Yeah. I guess it's just like... I guess my kind of stance on Valve is that they started as a video game developer and now it seems that they've kind of lost... They've lost that part. I mean, they also their, have to maintain a lot in Steam. I guess, yeah. So, like, I guess you can't really blame them, but, like, it would it would be nice to see Valve, you know, release a bit more. 
I'm not necessarily saying that they... Because uh, a lot of fans ask for many different kinds of games. Some people want Portal 3. I, I don't think that would do particularly well. Like, the story's pretty much, like, done. The only way that I could see it working is if you did, like, a spin-off. But that's also that been... actually done spin off Yeah, hasn't that been done? Yeah. yeah. There's, like, a lot of, I guess, spin-offs in. Yeah. So, Portal 3, I don't think could be a good thing, because, like, at the end of Portal 2, it's pr- it's pretty final. Yeah. You know, GLaDOS, well, I, I, you know, GLaDOS goes back to doing her thing. Um, you know, Chell's... Chell. Yeah, Chell, Chell's let out. Yeah, Chell's let out of Aperture Science. You know, there's there's not much more that you could really do. Actually, uh, spoiler for people who hasn't seen, uh, in yeah, no, Shell. the spin-off, mm-hmm. it's, I think, a bird flies into their quote-unquote freedom, but it turns out to just be another fake wall. Ah. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure she's still in... Uh, yeah. Or still in after science. Yeah, I, I, still like, don't, I, just, I still don't think it'd be a smart move to... To make a portal three, no. The the story's just too complete. Like it, it's done. Yeah. It's it's done. It's over. Leave it's, it. It's just gonna repeat itself. Yeah, it would just be the same gameplay over and over. And doing two games of it and a spin off game, cool. But it's basically yeah. like um, they have don't basically do a third kind of that free yeah. anymore. Although I will say, That's... I will say, I would have liked to have seen the Half Life series end properly. Oh no! It's it's going to. We've been saying that for years. No, it we've is basically been saying that since it. like what two thousand seven, two thousand nine. No, it is. No, it is going to. With the release of Half Life, Alex, um, I'm pretty sure they're working on Half Life Three because apparently, uh, data miners have like looked into the files of Half Life, Alex, and found like, uh, found like resources for Half Life Three. Huh. I seen that one of the original writers was um he talked about possibly coming back out of retirement just to do another Half-Life. Yeah. Um, I mean, like... It, I can't remember his name. Yeah. The guy, but he said... He, but like, through time. Sorry? Like, uh, well, we know that... Uh, we know that uh, Eli Vance can never... Uh, can't come back. Like, in a, a later game, because... Yeah, because he pretty much but, died at the end of episode The two. voice actor died as well. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, and recasting would just be a bit messy. Yeah, like Half Life, Half Life Alex. That's set five years, uh, Gord Freeman. So that makes sense that Eli sounds a bit younger. Mm-hmm. Like he sounds. Yeah, but like if you did it, if you did it now, it just it wouldn't work the same. It, it, no, it wouldn't work. Plus, doesn't he die at the end of episode two? Yeah, he does. Or it's like heavily implied. Yeah, oh no, he, get, he, he gets stabbed. He, yeah, so yeah, he gets stabbed by an advisor. Yeah. Um... Yeah, it it would have been nice to see Valve end it more at the time, but if I mean if they're going to end it, then at least they're you know finishing off the series. Only yeah, time there's have. actually there's a few like sort of spin off, like yeah, I would say spin offs of uh, Half Life, uh, are really yeah. spin offs. It's there's um there's Hunt Down the Freeman, terrible. Hmm. Um, black uh, there's Black Mesa, which is amazing. Because it's Isn't, a remaster. Yeah, it's a remaster. It's, it's a remaster slash remake of the original. Black Mesa actually yeah. made from Valve. No, no, it it's a it's a like fan made Pokemon. um it's a fan made game, but yeah. I I looked at it. It is incredibly well done. Yeah, for a it's fan made game by Crowbar or something. There you go. Got, um, Crowbar Collective. Crowbar Co- uh, Collective. They're not um yeah they're not uh with Valve. They're just their own. Uh, mm-hmm. like I'm pretty sure they're just their own, like sort of. Yeah, game studio. Yeah. You get a ten out of ten by. Yeah, yeah, but like, like um. There's also um. There's also uh. I think it's Entry uh, Triple Zero. Okay. Hang on. Uh. I'm just thinking about like, a lot of the Valve, games. Like, Valve made a lot of high-quality games. That's what it's called. Entropy Zero, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, um, yeah, that's a community-made Half-Life 2. Um, uh-huh. Yeah. 
it's it's based in it's based I guess like uh half life pretty sure. Sorry, can you say that again? Yeah, you uh, cut I out think, a bit. Oh, I think uh like I think it's based like just before Half Life. Right, so like, before the uh, original. Yeah, uh, no, no 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 uh before Half Life Two. Like or oh, before right. the whole uh, the, like the, the combat Nova Pro uh, the Nova prospect attack right, okay so you play as a uh you play as a combine soldier Ooh. uh you play as a, a combine soldier in uh like in the abandoned city 10 right and you actually like you get uh knocked out by uh like by barney Ooh. and like so you can see like how sort of barney yeah, or like became... how well Barney is like undercover. Yeah, honestly, like the kind of games that actually put you in the point of view of the bad guy. Yeah, yeah, because you get I to guess... see a different perspective. Yeah, and also like it, uh, like it's not like uh, um, later on he joins the rebels. No, he he gets uh, later on he gets turned into a combine soldier. So like he's just he's a like metro cop. Uh, he's like a human metro cop that uh, later on gets turned into a a combine soldier. Hmm. And that, that was a battlefield. Oh, sorry. No, it's fine. Um, like, but uh, like Entropia Zero Two uh, is like might be coming out soon or in, uh, or something. Uh, we Could don't be uh, like. Yeah, we uh, don't know. Uh, we a like a release date but it's like it is being worked on yeah okay what were I you guys saying that, um battlefield 5 has also kind of done this kind of evil perspective uh, oh yeah because, with the yeah with uh, the german tank crew yeah hmm. first i thought that was um erwin rommel like at first i thought that was an Air, uh, erwin rommel uh, mission Please explain. Yeah, uh, he's a uh, he's a uh, he was he's a German like a German general that was pretty sure a tanker a Ger uh, like uh, oh tank. okay right. Um, I guess uh, I don't know. <laughs> I I never really got into Battlefield all that much. No, I've only played four and uh, I've, I've, I've only played Battlefield one. That's it. Yeah, my my dad uh, loves that. Yeah. My dad like, loves Battlefield. Yeah, yeah, Battlefield 1 is like a good enough game. I, I quite like it, apart from the respawn system, which I already did a video on, so I'm not going to cover it here. Video, <laughs> just, uh, just click the link in the description if you want to uh, hear my thoughts on the Battlefield respawn system. <laughs> <laughs> For a game that's like a few years old. Self-promotion. What? Self-promotion on your own channel. Well, I mean, yeah, it's my channel. I can yeah. I can plug my videos. <laughs> I love a good shameless plug. Me. That's like. I re I remember um. Uh, like I was talking, I was talking to my dad about something, and then I brought up uh armor free, um, and like I I said I said, armor free uh armor free basically just a later, and he got really fucking defensive. Uh, he got really defensive and uh like really aggressive at me calling it a walking player huh <laughs> like i knew he played arma uh but like i didn't know he fucking like liked it that much <laughs> yeah i don't i don't know <laughs> I, i'm really tired at the moment so like so that's much. probably why i'm a bit out of it <laughs> shattered yeah stop oh wait crap i can't open it Forgot that one up here. <laughs> uh, okay, not gonna open that just now. Um, I guess. Uh, I guess we could call that like a, a kind of end. I guess. Yeah. I mean, how long have we been talking? Uh, just over an hour. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah. So I, I guess we can call that a pretty satisfying end to the podcast. Um, I I want to thank uh, Viper and Day for sticking with me up until. For a day, basically quarter past three in the morning. Um, thanks, guys. 
<laughs> thanks thanks for co-hosting with me. Yep. Um, but anyway, I've been Roscoe M. Uh, this has been the Twatcast Podcast, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Peace.